Hello everyone, happy Wednesday and to all my American friends, happy Thanksgiving a day early. Um, the first thing I wanna do is thank Ray with Van Life Rocks for the raid, greatly appreciated. Hope you're enjoying your time with your family. Um, I wanna thank the following for sharing out the live stream. Dream on Wheels, Ava Potterfield, Potterfield and Friends, Van Life with Gina, and Fit for Expedition. Thank you guys so much for sharing it out. And I want to thank you guys all for the thumbs up. It's so wonderful. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Gina's not on tonight. So once we're all done everything, we're going to raid Fit for Expedition. But I'm going to do this live stream just for the 45 minutes. And then I have a premiere of a video that I just finished, like, two minutes ago editing and uploading and trying to fill out the tags thank you kenneth oaks for sharing out the video greatly appreciated live stream it says video on here but it is live stream okay so yeah i have a thing on winter tips you guys all saw lots of bombs last year when i tried to like do some winter camping and i want to be a hundred percent prepared for it when i go to the us this year I did do some practice runs. So I have tons of tips up there if anyone wants to share that one out once the premiere is going. And then, yeah, after the premiere, we're going to read Fit for Expedition. All right, let me see what some of you guys put for um, suggestions for food. Now, some of them are missing. But I was sitting here thinking, I have what Canadian foods, what Canadian beverages am I going to bring with me to the U.S. to share with you guys? So then I'm like, well, what are the things in America that I don't typically get here that I want to try? Um, I just want the full experience of everything on this trip. So if you guys could add in some foods, I have a little list of things. I was doing some Googling, but you guys always have the very best information. Um, now, the first one, and I didn't write, oh, yeah, Ray, it doesn't show up on my stream yard, but Ray was like fish tacos and Ringo and Czar said meat potatoes and booze are the basics to try in the U.S. Oh my gosh you guys are so funny. Hello Lillian and Cool Breeze Adventures. We've got Janice from Oz here. She says apart from the heart attack that's about to happen on your thumbnail I'd say salads and chicken. Okay on my thumbnail that's poutine. <laughs> That's like a traditional Canadian dish. So I want to know what your favorite dishes are. We got Alan here, Dream on Wheels. Prefer anything with lots of vegetables, Chinese, Asian, spicy, blah, 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 blah. All right. Let's see some specific dishes like gumbo. I don't even know what gumbo is, you guys, but I'm going to have to try it. Where am I going to try it on my trip? Erin Jemison is in the house. Thank you so much for that. If you see someone here that you don't know, go ahead and check out their channel. And moderators, channel members, keep dropping your links throughout the, the whole uh, live stream. We've got Daryl of Van City Adventure. We have Sean. Hello, hello. And Tim's here. Linda's here with the Van Life Rocks Raid. Um, yeah, Tim. Nate is here. I saw my brother is here with the Morris family. We got Debbie F. Bree is here with TGIF. Floss is here. I'm trying to catch up. Fit for Expedition Cat Maintenance Guy. Hello, hello. Um, you guys, I'm so sorry if I'm missing people. We've got Michelle and Steve with Desert Adventures in Arizona. Ava Potterfield is here. Diane, Weekend RVing. Haven't seen you guys for a while. I hope all is well. Cookie's here. She Devil Adventures. Kenneth Oaks. Ah, Amethyst Hayes. Hello, Amy. Traveling Donkey Shanna Craft. Tracy Ocean Fire. Fairy Dust. Badge is here. Grumpy Old Gringo Senior. Hello, hello. Oh, man, there's so many awesome people tonight. So cool. Newman Outdoors. Hello. Good to see you. Anne is here. Wow. I'm doing pretty good at catching up with the chat, though, compared to some other people that I know. You know who you are. <laughs> I got to be a little bit cheeky once in a while. 
Raise here with Van Life Rocks. We've got Kathleen Klein. She says a good juicy steak and corn on the cob. I think that is good no matter where you go. We've got Trekker Daddy in the house. I uh, don't know if I can bring Canadian Tire with me. You guys would love it if I could. You're just going to have to come to Paula Palooza the second weekend in July, and I will give you the full tour of Canadian Tire. <laughs> Auntie's in the house. Auntie says, do not drink the iced tea. That's right. Our iced tea is what you guys call sweet tea. Your iced tea is not sweet, and ours is. So that's a definite thing to be aware of when a person's going between the countries. Uh, oh, my gosh. You saw diesel today for $4.50 a gallon. Whoa, that's disgusting. Fish tacos for sure. I've had them in Mexico. I have not had them in the U.S. yet. New and Outdoors says definitely some stuffing. Uh, I think I'm getting close to be. Oh, no, it jumped. It jumped. I think I just missed a whole bunch of people. Uh, gumbo, you make it. Indian fry bread. I'm really curious, Lillian, if that is similar to bannock. The fried bannock not baked. We're going to have to check that out. Google it and let me know if it's the same thing. I'm really curious. What other foods? Well, Tim says, once you eat all the available Vietnamese dishes in Southern California, everything else is bland. Bring it on. I'm going to try it. I mean, if I could try tripe with my cousin, I can try pretty much anything. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I knew what it was before I tried it. So I'm like super proud of myself. Okay. So it is from Louisiana. Awesome. Deborah on the go says carrot salad in Tennessee style dressing. I have no idea what that kind of dressing is like. That's I'm going to be rereading this, you guys, and adding them to my list. And then I'll tell you what I put on my list so far. Some of them are silly, but whatever. Ooh, jalapenos. I am not a spicy person. <laughs> Hello, Ronald. Good to see you here. Dad Cam rocks alligator. Oh, oh, did I just turn red? I just instantly felt nauseous as soon as I read alligator. That is not on my list. Put a one in the chat if you would try to eat alligator and a two if you won't try it. Whoa, I got to see if you guys really would or not, and then I'll see if I will. Oh, my goodness. Oh, never even thought of that at all. Oh, my, that is crazy. Alligator. Um, thank you, Shanna, for asking everyone to smash those thumbs up. That is greatly appreciated. We got Fatima with Travel Dreamer. Hello. Good to see you here, my dear. Um... Nate knew that comment about not keeping up with the chat. You resemble that comment? Yeah, you don't resent it because it's you. <laughs> Jeepers. Funny. What does Kat say? Barbecue ribs, Kansas City style. Ooh, I love ribs. I wonder what that is. As long as it's not really strong barbecue sauce, like bullseye barbecue sauce, I don't like. I don't know. It's weird. I like a lot of homemade ones. Hot dogs and apple pie. We have that here, but I'd be interested to see if it's a little bit different because I think a lot of things are different between our countries. Um, oh, you guys say you can get some good sweet tea in the South. Love dressing. Twisted tea is not too bad. We Are you, okay, wait, I can't remember. Ringo and Zara, are you Canadian? Because we have that in Canada. <laughs> That's alcohol. <laughs> oh my. Mm, I'm just trying to, oh, wait, no, Navajo fry bread is nothing like Bannock Cat. Okay, good to know. I'm going to have to try it. Oh, my gosh. I've heard of In-N-Out Burger so many times. We don't have them here. I'm totally going to try it. Totally going to try it. Mud bugs. I'm really hoping that's a misspelling. <laughs> You sweat enough without Canadian iced tea. <laughs> yeah. 
You guys are hilarious. I haven't got to the comp. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm just about there for the numbers about the alligators. In and Out Burger is in Lake Havasu. Kate, that's going to be on my list. Amy says, nope, to try an alligator. No way. Ringo and Zara says they will. Diane says it's yummy on the grill. Really? Nate says he's had alligator. Not bad. Dream on Wheels says it's really good, but I don't know if I can believe them. If that's Travis putting in the comment, he might not like it. Tell me it's really good so that I try it. Janai, if that's you, then I'll know. Well, Steve hasn't done it. Cat loves alligator. Debbie says, uh-uh. Shanna's had it. Shanna, did you like it? Super curious to see about the alligator. Floss has had it. Ooh, that just makes me want to spew chunks. Alligator chunks is awesome. That sounds even grosser. Tracy's had it. Linda's had it. Steampunk Steve says kind of chewy. Is that like our calamari when it's not cooked right? It gets kind of chewy and rubbery. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. She Devil Adventure says no, but her daughter's had it. Okay, maybe I try it like this, Bernie. Gator nuggets, kind of like chicken nuggets. Maybe, maybe. Hey, Sonia, good to see you here. We are talking about different kinds of foods that you guys have in America that most likely we don't have here or it's done different there that I could try when I come visit. And you guys have some really interesting suggestions. Oh, I just got a notice that I have a premiere in half an hour. <laughs> Oh, let me see. Yeah, he has had alligator. That is something else. Amy says Kansas, barbe Kansas City barbecue is really good. Kate, do they make that anywhere other than Kansas City? Probably. I sound so stupid right now, but I really don't know. The more you learn about the world, the more you learn that you don't know. Oh, Brene says definitely that one too. Um, Tracy, I'm not going to try that because I know what that is. And yeah, I, I, we're just going to let that one go. Brain, what animal, is, well, I guess it doesn't even matter because honest to goodness, I, I, I tried alligator before that. Oh, you guys are crazy. Um, Chicago style hot dog and deep dish pizza that sounds so good so good yeah we'll definitely have to do that kid cat says mud bugs are wonderful so that wasn't a misspelling what are mud bugs that doesn't sound appealing either hello georgian rose oh it's deep fried crayfish well i could try that anything deep fried has got to be good Hello, Tim. Good to have you here. We're just trying to figure out some foods. Oh my gosh. Well, squid I've had. I've had squid, calamari, what are, all sorts of variations of that. That's fine. Rattlesnake. Okay. A one if you have tried rattlesnake and a two if it's a oh hell no. That's that's kind of sketchy because I'm scared of snakes. Would they feel different if it was dead? Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't even think I can wear snakeskin boots. Whew. I'm just getting the heebie-jeebies right now. You guys are killing me. Making some potatoes while I can handle that. <laughs> Wonder Burger in Texas. Tim says alligator is good. Dream on Wheels says, I would never tell you I like a food I don't really like. I love food. Can't you tell? All right. All right. Uh, right, Neil? Okay. Okay. Alligator's a hit. I had no idea. What other things do I have no idea about you guys? You think I would like it? What does gator even kind of taste like? Everybody says everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I've had Ascar go, but I don't know. I don't know. You guys are killing me. 
Okay, so Shanna says a lot of things are different across the U.S. Ribs, barbecue, tea, grits in the South, not in the North so much, and the list goes on. You haven't tried gator, but you would. Okay, I've tried um, gravy and bis. No, was it? No, it was, was it gravy and... No, it was grits, but I tried it in one of the northern states, and I did not like it, so I would like to try that for sure. Gumbo is on my list. Grits is on my list. Jambalaya is on my list. Biscuits and gravy. Um, chicken and waffles. Now, I saw they had a place like that when I was in Vegas, and I've had chicken, I've had waffles, but, like, are they just served side by side? Is the chicken wrapped in a waffle. I, I don't actually know for sure what that is. Frito pie, I want to try. I've heard fry sauce is supposed to be famous in Utah. I put avocado toast just to say I tried it. <laughs> and then I read about prickly pear cactus drinks. And I don't even know what prickly pear is, but I was trying to Google different foods and drinks along the route that I'm taking, like kind of eye down the I-15. So I need to see what else you guys have for ideas. Um, hey, Greg. Good to see you. Good to have you here. Thanks for coming in. We do have corned beef in Canada. I'm not sure if it's the same for you guys. Nate says, Kansas and Texas are the most known for the barbecue. But it's just not the same. All right. Well, if I go to Texas, I'm going to find Papa Texas. I'm going to get him to make me some. <laughs> uh, Janice doesn't know what grits are either. Okay. Mm. Kat says cheesy grits for breakfast with country ham and eggs. Okay. Grits are ground corn. Okay. Still learning. Thanks all my moderators for, for welcoming the new people in here. You guys are amazing. Make sure you're dropping each other's links and your own. Tracy Hushapar hasn't tried either of them, so we're in the same boat right now. Um, if I forget you guys at 845, if you guys get a notification on my premiere, can you just plunk that into the chat just so that I don't miss my own premiere? <laughs> Linda Lady Redskins, hello, hello. Texas barbecue, southern grits, and alligator tail for a few. Is it usually alligator tail or does it taste better than the other part of it? I just feel so stupid asking these questions, but it's fun. And you guys are awesome for giving me ideas. Biscuits and gravy are hangover food. So is that what I try after an all moose milk night? I'll bring the moose milk. Who's doing the gravy and biscuits? biscuits and gravy look i'm saying i'm backwards already <laughs> crawdads what are crawdads oh quit bragging greg <laughs> i don't know if that's fahrenheit or celsius actually either way it's warmer than it is here right now it's well earlier today it was minus 23 with the wind chill right now let me just see what the temperature is it's taking a second Minus 16 feels like minus 20, and that's Celsius. I don't know what the conversion is off, off the top of my head. <laughs> stuffing with sausage in it. I've had stuffing, but not with sausage in it. That actually sounds like it'd be good. I love stuffing, but not bland stuffing. It has to have a lot of flavor to it, so that sounds like it would work. Chicken and dumplings. Got to add that to my list. Oh, goodness. Nope, you wouldn't either. Tim has nothing beats White Castle. I was in a White Castle in um, Salt Lake City in Utah. Yeah, I was on that trip with mom and we we ate there. The vehicle we were in was slightly overheating. <laughs> so we took a break there. And I actually don't remember if it was good or not. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, salmon patties, cheesy grits, and eggs for supper. Hmm. Okay, cookie. Best meal he ever had is blackened alligator stuffed in a butterflied ribeye smothered with crawfish. I don't know what that word is. But that sounds really cool. I would totally try that. She says no. She says no. She says no. Oh, we got another no. Yep. 
Hey, small Pratt Nation. Good to see you here. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I don't know what hush puppies are, and I've never had fried catfish. No, yes. Haven't tried it, but would. Kulaches? Kulaches? I don't know what that is either. It's a hangover cure, too. Okay, I'm up for learning what these ones are. <laughs> Yeah, and in Canada, we had our Thanksgiving um, last month, so we've already done all that. So we're just talking about not Thanksgiving food, but foods in the U.S. that I'm going to try this winter when I come down. I'm not going to be in western New York, but they have a garbage plate in Rochester. Okay, I think I've heard something about that. Anything dead will go down easy. Well, it usually helps. Shannon says, oh, hell no, no rattlesnake for her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, Nate, maybe we're going to have to go together and try snake. You have to try it first. <laughs> Anyone else that hasn't tried it when we're all down in Quartzsite, let's kind of get together and give it a whirl. We'll order a bunch of really crazy appetizers somewhere. we got to find a place for it, though. Oh, you love Gator. Hey, Charlie Grace. Yeah, I'll chase it with moose milk, Tim. Southern green beans with potatoes. I like green beans, but everybody keeps bringing up green beans more like with Thanksgiving and stuff. So I'm wondering what's different about green beans in the U.S. than here. Because we don't hear about it. I mean, we have it and we grow it, but you don't hear of it as a very common side dish compared to other things. Steve says, nope. And Tim says, a try tip is a great cut of beef. All right. Fishy gator, tastes like gator. That's what a snake tastes like. Or no, that's what, oh, I don't know. Cajun food. Whatever I can find that's maybe not the spiciest, I would totally try. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Squirrel pepperoni? I don't think I can do it. Uh, I don't think I can do it. I mean, if it's pepperoni, it's going to taste like pepperoni. It's way spicy, but whoa, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. So Linda says, gator's delicious, and it has its own taste, which is mild. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I would try alligator before snake. Snake's going to take a few drinks, <laughs> I think. I don't know. It kind of freaks me out. You guys really eat that stuff? Nice. Greg says, backyard grilled ribeye steak with Wendy's baked potato. Mmm. Fried okra. Mm. Oh, okay. The difference between Texas barbecue and regular barbecue is that Texas is beef and the other is pork. No idea. Biscuits and gravy is better. <laughs> Oh, Christina, you've had fry sauce? Okay, I totally want to try that. I was looking stuff up. Hello, Nomadic Van Man. Come on in. Hopefully things are getting a little bit better there in BC. Mm -hmm -hmm. Trying to catch up. You can make spicy biscuits and gravy? Mm. Oh, fried okra is a Southern Georgia cuisine. Tracy likes the grits. Um, okay, Frito pie. Does anybody want to tell me a Frito pie is something that's worth it? What it is? Shit on a shingle? Cream chipped beef on toast? I'll try it. <laughs> I don't know what Scrapple is. Fried with maple syrup. Is that a fish? Um... Okay, so Steve says they have prickly pear jelly down there. Prickly pear is a cactus. Okay, because there was all sorts of list, stuff listed for prickly pear. So I'll try any of that. Or if I try the first thing and I don't like it, then I guess I won't try the rest. But yeah, RV living life. Hello. Thanks for the update on the weather down there. Like I said in my comment, please save some warm weather for me when I get there. <laughs> Hello, 
finding happiness in all you do. So good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving tomorrow to you as well. Oh, fry sauce is just ketchup and mayo mixed together? That's all it is? Hmm. In New Orleans, some Cajuns sprinkle tobacco on their... What? Tobacco on your grits? Never even heard of that before. Never, ever heard of that. 61 Fahrenheit and you're freezing. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> uh, you can't eat crawdads. You had a dog that used to catch them in the stream on your property when you lived in Arkansas. Okay. I hope I'm not too far, you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm like six minutes. Don't bring the cold. Hello, John Chucker. Oh, you stuff your turkey with sausage. That's awesome. I'll have to go to Louisiana in February. Uh, White Castle's great after drinks. Hello, Victoria. Poutine is a great hangover food. You are so right, Cookie. Chocolate crickets are good, Diane says. Chocolate covered scorpions. Okay, you guys are sucking me in with the whole chocolate covered part. I mean, anything in chocolate can't be all bad, but they're bugs. Ugh. Turtle. Nope. 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 I had a turtle for 18 years. I don't want to eat a turtle. Appetizers in the middle of the desert. Like, no, if we caravan somewhere off from Quartzsite before or after, because we're not all spending all, all winter there. Turkey. Make me try the snake first. Oh, hell no. She crap soup. What is the stuff of shit and crap in titles of your food names? <laughs> hey, Nosh, good to see you here. Wendy Bloom says fresh produce, avocados, pistachios, local wine. All in on all of that. I want to know what it's like to pick an orange off of a tree. I picked an apple and I picked fruit, but I want to pick an orange off a tree. I want to have all those different fresh fruits there. Super excited. Oh, my goodness. Mm. All right. So Linda Barker says green bean casserole made with cream of mushroom soup and French fried onions. Very common. I would like to try that. I have not tried it. I'm definitely going to do that. Bear summer sausage. Never tried that. I've eaten moose and deer and wild boar. I guess those are kind of Canadian, some of them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going out to Florida, so I'm going to have to see kind of what the other stuff is. Yeah, I feel like a squirrel's a glorified rat. Like, really? Too bony? Oh! Oh, that just makes it sound grosser. Oh, goose bumps. Yeah, I think snake's going to be out of the question. Oh, yuck. <laughs> okay, we'll skip snake. Yeah, true. If you had curry to any meat, you're probably not going to know the difference. <laughs> Oh, cookie sand. Try the alligator and rattlesnake because they're both delicious. Have I ever tried cow's tongue? I know a lot of farmers out here have had it. I have yet to try it. Mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've had chicken gizzards. If they're fried right, they're delicious. Um, let me see what else. Let me see. Swamp Rat Nation, you've had squirrel and dumplings? Never heard of that dish. Never heard of it. Oh, I've never tried frog legs either. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be in the Southwest. Alligators aren't there, but the rattlesnakes are. Well, I guess I'm not having either that Nate. <laughs> yep, yeah, nope. Thank you for the 15-minute warning, Erin. You're awesome. I love mashed potatoes, too, with gravy, some stuffing. Yeah, Thanksgiving would be really good tomorrow. Debbie says, prickly pear cocktails are yum. What alcohol is in that? I have to look it up. Hey, D Jelly, good to see you here. World according to Jim. Hey, how are you? I loved your last video in Vegas. Beef and cream on toast is awesome. Is that that shit on a, wait, I'm going to say shit on a stick. Whatever Aaron said earlier, was that the same thing? 
burrito pie is more than a bag of Fritos with the whole can of chili dumped in it with cheese. All right. Oh, my streamer actually tells me the time. I'm four minutes behind. No, five minutes behind. I'll catch up. I will catch up. Creamed asparagus over toast. Faux special has everything in it. That's what my cousin ordered. And he ordered me like one that had very limited stuff in the tripe. I just ate a piece out of his. That was my beginner's start to faux. <laughs> or pho. 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 I have to remember another bad word to remember how to say that right. Pho. <laughs> Oh, eventually I'm going to get it right and hell no to go for stew. Okay, Linda, don't waste chocolate on bugs. That does sound extremely logical to me. Turtles are chocolate covered pecans with caramel. <laughs> do you guys have turtles chocolate in the States? You probably do. We have them here. They're actually my son's favorite chocolate at Christmas. I am not eating pigeons, crab soup, not crap. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my. Pecans are found in Georgia, too. Largest pecan orchards in the world. Wow. Oh, my chat just jumped. <laughs> you just want to hear me say it. Just like the sofa king. Right, guys? Right? Hello, Karen. It's Prairie Life. Good to see you here. Deer venison with hobo omelet. Um, Nosh says gator and turtle's good, but she's never had frog legs. Tim says he eats frog legs. Debbie's like, you guys are scaring her off. Red eye gravy is made with squirrel. Squirrel. That is a really good thing to know. No red eye gravy for this kid. <laughs> I'm not having it. Smashed taters. Is that just kind of like really small hash browns? Sort of, right? I don't even know how to pronounce that. I have no idea what that one is, Greg. You're going to have to keep me up to date. <laughs> I know I missed a bunch of you guys. I'm so sorry. So Bree just ate some spicy crayfish chips. Not her favorite. Mm. Oh, wait. Red eye gravy is from ham droppings. Uh, well, I'm not going to risk it. Huh. Or I'll have to ask them when I order it. Frog legs taste like frog, Bree says. So John says, try roast beef and white toast with meat gravy with potato. Oh, yeah, we've done that. When we used to have um, leftovers at all our big family meals, we, we would always, get, we always had extra gravy on our plates. So we would just put the bread there and we just smush it all with gravy and is that like biscuits and gravy? A slice of bread with a bunch of gravy on it. Oh, my God. No wonder obesity is a big thing here. <laughs> you guys are all that taste like chicken. No. I find that hard to believe. We have a what's the pho restaurant. Cool. Very cool. Okay, and now Linda says she thought red eye gravy was with made, made with ham and coffee. That I can handle. Anything with coffee is usually good. Except for ice cream. It just ruins ice cream. <laughs> Poor Charlie Grace. Charlie Grace Adventures. Um, she's just getting hungry. And I actually haven't eaten today. I kind of lost track of time today. Work was really busy, and I was trying to get this video that's coming out in a few minutes ready. So as soon as this live stream is done, I'm going to be eating while I watch Greg. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, same as smashed. Oh, it's just easier to say. Oh, why is my kid calling me now? I'm trying to get a hold of him for a week. <laughs> okay, I'll be calling him back before I eat. That's right, you gotta sop up the gravy. Kat says her dad always claimed they were having noodle, poodle, and coyote stew. <laughs> what do I eat in Canada? Oh gosh, there's... And it's like any kind of meat and potatoes. We have tons of vegetables. You guys are like, take the call. <laughs> Just answer it. I have 10 more minutes and then I will call him back. 10 more minutes and I'll call him back. I've been doing live streams on Wednesday nights at this time for well over a year. 
he must have lost track of time. Although I know some of his classes are evening, so it's just kind of funny. And now I have a message. Ah, sorry, I just realized you're live right now. <laughs> Love that kid. Can't wait to talk to him. Can't wait. Um, what is this? Anne says, I love coffee, almond fudge, haagen Oh, yes. Okay, that is. That, that is good. Anything haagen is good, though. Sounded like a real phone with a real bell. Because I can set it that way. I'm a little traditional. <laughs> uh, you used to joke about having noodles and wogs. And then you put polywogs. I don't know what polywogs are either. Can you guys tell me what polywogs are? I literally have no idea whatsoever. Mm, everybody's getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, oh, I know it was on my list that I had never tried chimichangas. What are chimichangas? For sure. And that's my brother. <laughs> DJ, quit being a smart ass. The Morris Family Adventures is literally watching this live stream right now and trying to call me. Okay, DJ, call me one more time. I'll answer it. We'll have you live on Bambi the Travels. Okay, so Pollywogs, Baby Amphibian, Tadpole, Baby Frogs, Baby Frogs. Yeah, I'm not having that. Nope. How does everybody know what that is? My brother's such a smarty pants. Okay, DJ, I dare you. Call me again. You'll be live. I'll put you on the speaker phone. Everyone call Paula. Oh, my gosh. Not everyone has my phone number, thank goodness. And those who do, please don't call. What am I getting for a message now? Oh, it just told me that I missed a call. I don't know what's going on with all these beeps and ringings and five-minute warning till we have the premiere, folks. And then after the premiere, we're going to raid Fit for Expedition. And Amy's like, I'll call next. No, we're not going to eat polywogs. Okay, so they're deep fried burritos. Oh, that sounds good. Chimichangas or deep fried burrito. I could totally do that. That's awesome. What else is on my list? List. Oh my goodness, I can't believe the polywogs thing. Some of this stuff, you guys, is just unfathomable. I can't even say the word. Oh yeah, no one answered me. When we say chicken and waffles, is that somehow together? Oh my God. I'm going to answer that, you ass. I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Hello? It's Nate. And all I can hear is myself. Hello. How's it going? Total feedback. Was this really important at the moment? It's an emergency. And the emergency is... There's a shortage of rattlesnakes he hears. Well, that's really good. Thank you so much for the update. I feel so much better actually to go south in the winter now. Thanks for calling, Nate. Bye. <laughs> Turkey. Okay, we only got a couple more minutes. We have three minutes till my premiere starts. I have the link at the top of the chat. Um, I would love it if you guys came over and watched that and actually have one get a good start. It's a winter one. I would really like to see if it gets pushed a bit. My best video um, this fall has been how to clean the buddy heater. It's had over 5,000 views. Don't make very much money off that, like 70 bucks. <laughs> but that's awesome. Like that's that's the best a video of mine has ever done. So let's see if we can kind of push this one out and we see it. If you guys want to share it out, the beats. So appreciated. Oh, wait, let me back up about the chicken and waffles. What did I just see? Oh, wait. Every creature that's caught, I don't know. 
Call 911, Nate. Okay, so chicken and waffles are just that. Usually chicken on top of waffle. Oh, well, that doesn't sound very much like a big deal. Hello, Justin and Christina. So good to see you here. I hope all is well. Ah, thank you, Erin. Wait, I got something messed up here. Oh, I know we had changes in the past. I'm just going to fix something really quick. Um, there we go. There, Erin, that is fixed. That's, I don't know. You guys are crazy. Tim says, DJ, stop leaving your Coors Light cans in my yard. There were maple syrup fingerprints on it. Mm-hmm. Canadian maple syrup, right, guys? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, we have, like, two minutes. Um, yeah, everybody knows that my brother drinks Coors Light. How funny is that? Of course, everybody knows I drink moose milk. Of course, I didn't really start drinking it until I bought my first bottle, showed you guys, and then it's become a thing. In fact, my sweater that I bought has moose on it. I am way too proud to be a Canadian right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just got to catch up with stuff. I want to thank the 44 of you that gave me a thumbs up. That's greatly appreciated. Um, not sure what that video was. And thank you, Janice, for dropping that link to the premiere. If you guys want to pop over there right away, that's fantastic. I will see you guys over there. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for sharing all the different kinds of foods with me, you guys. Oh, thank you, Linda. I like my sweater too. <laughs> And there you go. There's the link. If you guys want to click on that link, I'm going to end this live stream. We're going to pop over to my premiere and we'll see you there. Thanks so much, guys. Much love.